Hello and welcome everyone. In today's episode of Inventory for You and Me, we will be comparing two inventory valuation methods, namely the first in, first out method, or FIFO, and the last in, first out method, or LIFO. The idea is to understand how each of these methods work and where they can be put to use. What is FIFO? The first in, first out method, or FIFO for short, is an inventory valuation logic where one always assumes that items are sold in the order of purchase. Let's see how this works with an example. In January, you bought 50 pairs of sneakers at the rate of $50 a pair. In February, you bought another 50 pairs, but at $51 a pair, owing to a rise in transportation costs. Then, the raw materials got cheaper in March, and you were able to buy 100 pairs of the same sneakers at $45 a pair. Now, you have a total of 200 pairs for the first quarter of the year, and their inventory asset value would be 50 times $50, plus 50 times $51, plus 100 times $45, or in other words, $2,500 plus $2,550 plus $4,500 making it a total of $9,550 worth of sneakers. During the first quarter, you sold around 120 pairs of sneakers at the standard rate of $90 a pair. Now, the FIFO method will assume that out of the 120 pairs you sold, the first 50 pairs came from the January lot, the second 50 were taken off the February lot, and the remaining 20 are from the March lot. So, the asset value of items you sold will be 50 times $50, plus 50 times $51, plus 20 times $45, which is $2,500 plus $2,550 plus $900 or simply $5,950 worth of inventory in total. Now your profits on this sale will be 120 times $90, minus $5,950. In other words, $10,800 minus $5,950. That comes to a total of $4,850 in profit. What is LIFO? The last in, first out method, or LIFO for short, is an inventory valuation logic where one always assumes that the newest items in your inventory are sold first. When you apply the same example to LIFO, the system will assume that out of the 120 pairs you sold at the rate of $90 a pair, the first 100 came from the March lot, and the remaining 20 were taken off the February lot. The total inventory asset value of items sold will now be calculated as 100 times $45, plus 20 times $51, or $4,500 plus $1,020, which totals $5,520. Based on this method, your total profit will be 120 times $90, minus $5,520, or $10,800 minus $5,520, which comes down to a total of $5,280 in profit. Where do we use FIFO and where do we go for LIFO? Well, if you are a vendor that is mainly selling perishable goods or goods with an expiration date, then it is best to adopt FIFO for your inventory valuation needs. If you sell more stable products like electronics or automobile spares, then LIFO can be a suitable method of valuation for your business. That concludes the session on FIFO and LIFO. We hope this was useful to you. Let's meet again for a new video on another topic. Until then, please stay safe and be healthy. Cheers!